Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade your PS3's hard drive. Uh, this is the slim model, kind of the second redesign uh, in between the fat model and the very slim model. Uh, so first of all, go to this website and uh, I'll have the link in the description. Go ahead and download the latest system software for the PS3 and uh, we're going to need to put this on a flash drive so when you start your PS3 up with the new hard drive, uh, you're going to need to have to update it right away off of a flash drive. So make sure you have that. So uh, once the file is done downloading, just go ahead and open up your flash drive folder. You're going to have to make a new folder, name it PS3. Uh, go ahead and put it in all caps just in case. I'm not sure if it has to be all caps, but uh, it's a good idea to just do that just to be safe. And then in that folder, go ahead and make a new folder and name it update. Again, all caps, um, just to be safe so uh, you don't have to worry about anything going wrong. Uh, and then go ahead and drag that file, that update file over and when it's done just hold on to that flash drive uh, to be used later. So now if you've already had a bunch of uh, saved data on your PS3 before go ahead and go to the save data utility on the game section and what you're going to need to do is if you want you can go ahead and copy over all of your saved game data so you're not going to lose any spot in uh, a Call of Duty game for the campaign or anything. Uh, so go, just go ahead and press triangle go to copy up multiple then go to select all and then you're going to have to have that same flash drive or another flash drive plugged in and just copy all of the save game data over to that flash drive uh, which again we're going to use later to uh, put everything back on the new PS3. So, was, uh, so now go ahead and take your PS3, go and flip it on its back and go ahead and uh, there's this little latch door thing. Uh, it should just pop right off and go ahead and unscrew the blue screw right there and now this little door it just slides out and then it slides uh, towards you so you can just take that off and there is your hard drive uh, they made it pretty easy they have like a little uh, metal bar thing that you can just flip out and pull to get your hard drive out make sure your PS3 is fully turned off at this time uh, and unplugged just to be safe and your hard drive should just slide right out and uh, there we go now we have to take out the old hard drive and then we can put in a new one you're going to want a pretty small Phillips screwdriver for this step because uh, the screws are pretty small on this hard drive case so we're going to need to take this metal plate off of the back uh, again there's little screws in each of the four corners uh, just take that out put in the new one put in the screws make sure it's facing the same way and then we can just go and slide it right back into the PS3. So make sure it's fully uh, inside of the PS3. Don't leave it so it's sticking out a little bit. And then just go ahead and put that little uh, metal bar down, put the plate back on, and then you can screw back in the blue screw to uh, seal it up. Now for this next step, you're going to need to make sure you listen closely for the beeps. Uh, you're going to need to turn your PS3 on a special way, so just wa watch and listen. Okay, so if you didn't get that, it's hold the power button down until it's one beep, two beeps, three beeps, and then uh, let it turn off, and then hold it down again until one beep, two beep, and then a double beep, and then take your finger off right away. Uh, now this is going to pull up the safe mode. You're going to need to format your hard drive, uh, so just go and do that step, and uh, we will be back with putting in that uh, update flash drive, and so now you're going to need to take your controller and press start and select and it will go ahead and find the update data now once it finds it you're going to need to press start and select again and hold it down for about five seconds okay now it's going to go ahead and update your PS3 and make sure everything's all set up so you can uh, play all of your games and stuff on it without any problems Okay, and now when it starts up again, it's going to be like you uh, turning your PS3 on for the first time. It's going to make you go through the steps of setting it up. 
So go and plug in your controller and choose your language, uh, choose what kind of connection you have to your TV, and uh, then you can go ahead and set up uh, all your other stuff. So we'll get back when uh, I get done with doing this. Okay, now your PS3 is going to go and log in for you. Uh, you're going to need to log into your PSN account again, but just to make sure uh, that your hard drive is fully installed and everything, go to settings, go to system settings, and then system information, and you'll see uh, whatever hard drive uh, amount that you have. It should be a little bit lower than uh, what you put in. Now go to the system uh, or save game data and go ahead and copy over everything from the flash drive back onto your PS3 and uh, there you go. So if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments below but uh, I guess I'll see you guys later.